For minorities in dentistry, the field is wide open. African Americans make up about 12% of the U.S. population, yet in the dental populations, there's less than 1% of African American dentists practicing in the U.S. In the Hispanic population, that number is 15% of the U.S. population, yet less than 5% of the Hispanic population are practicing dentists. Minorities in Dentistry is a wonderful half-day workshop that we've put together to expose the minorities to the world of dentistry and dental hygiene. Minorities in Dentistry is a great way to find out about a profession that is well sought after. It's one of the most sought after professions today. So why is that? Well, if you could find out if you've come to Minorities in Dentistry because we talk about that. This workshop is geared for someone who might be in high school who's looking for a career in the health professions or maybe in college and they're thinking along the lines of dentistry or dental hygiene. And then maybe you've had your career and you want to try a new career and this is something you might be interested in. If you're a minority and you love people, this is a career that you might consider. If you love working with your hands, if you like to draw or paint, or if you feel like you're an artistic person, this is a career you definitely should consider. One of the things you'll be able to do at Minorities in Dentistry is your first filling. You'll be able to set the teeth, and then there'll be a tooth that's prepared for you. You get to carve or pack the amalgam, or the silver filling, and then you can try your skills at sculpturing as you place your dental anatomy in that tube. Dentistry pretty much is arts and crafts all day long. So if you feel that you're an artsy person possibly, and yet you are still interested in the health profession, this is a great opportunity for you because dentistry is a great combination of both the arts and the sciences. I wanted to attend Minorities in Dentistry, mainly because I wanted to see how active they are. I was really surprised by the number of minorities that are actually working in the dental field or the percentage of minorities. The demographics are really slim. I think it's mainly because a lot of minorities don't have the opportunity or they just don't know. There's probably a misconception of that whole idea of dentistry and becoming a dentist or a dental hygienist. And what really gripped me about it was the fact that they would talk a lot about financing and how to, you know, basically finance dental school. What brought me to Minorities in Dentistry was really just the opportunity to get into the dental field or just learn more about it and about working as a minority in the dental field. I was kind of in between medicine and dentistry and it wasn't until my sophomore year that I started really looking more into dentistry, shadowing, and uh, just getting to know more aspects of the field. I really enjoyed the hands-on activity at the end. Uh, that was really the first time I was able to do something regarding to dentistry instead of just observing. So it kind of gave me a true like first taste of what it's like. You also hear firsthand from the students who are here at the dental school and their experience. My interest was only increased um, as part of hearing the, I guess, the testimonies that as they presented. It was just awesome to see how passionate they were. I've grown up in this area, so I've seen this campus change. It's definitely changed for the better. It has a lot of most advanced, like technology-wise. In this workshop, you're going to get a lot of information and you can also bring a family member, one family member, 
And the great thing about this workshop is the cost is free. I'm Dr. Woodson, and I'm so looking forward to seeing you at the next Minorities in Dentistry.